Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we are at uh, Dove Point Place. A beautiful community built by Richmond American Homes in uh, North Las Vegas. And uh, today we're touring uh, this floor plan right in front of us, the boxwood floor plan, and then right next to us here, the hibiscus floor plan. These are, you know, uh, homes that are anywhere between 1,500 to 1,900 square feet, all with bedrooms upstairs, no bedrooms downstairs options over here, but really, really nice floor plans that Richmond builds. The one we're gonna tour today is the boxwood and the hibiscus. Just for um, a little bit more information about this one, we have another floor plan, which is the Alder, the smallest one with almost 1,500 square feet, starting at 358. And then we have the Lantana, a little bit bigger, 368. And then Boxwood, which is the one that we're gonna tour today at 388. And then the Hibiscus starting at 395, okay? So 388 is the starting price of this one. However, we're gonna go over all the options included in this uh, home, as well as all the upgrades and how much it will cost to upgrade these homes. We're located over in uh, North Las Vegas. We got some beautiful mountain views on that side of town. Uh, depending on the lot you get, you might get some nice mountain views. Uh, we are uh, we we have here a, an HOA of fifty nine dollars per month. Really big community that Richmond American Homes is building. They have all kinds of uh, floor plans and and you know they, they have the small two stories, they have the small single stories, and the big single stories, which we're all gonna tour today. The boxwood floor plan. We're gonna walk in and see a little bit of what's included, what's not included. All right. So walking up, we have a eight foot door leading into the house into a nine foot ceiling which is actually included in the base price with the six foot eight doors in the interior the back of the house right there we'll get the eight foot high doors okay it does have an upgraded sliding door which is an option boxwood is one of those floor plans that is really really nice we have uh your living room set up right here which is very a very comfortable size dining room and then nice corner kitchen right there with the island perfect setup it's just not too much not too li not too little as far as space goes and it has everything you need now as far as the included options you'll get the ge black appliances it's going to be a push-in stove uh, as well as uh, you know the the microwave on top of the stove so it's going to be more of the basic included options however you can upgrade to something like this if you want to the starting price however on this house at 388 that's pretty difficult to find nowadays you could probably be you know maybe a lot premium of about five thousand dollars or so and then you have to add some upgrades to the house you're probably going to be another at least twenty thousand dollars in upgrades i would say uh, so you'll be somewhere around you know in the low 400s with this house now, as far as uh, countertop here, uh, cabinets, what's included and what's not included? Let's go over that really quick. In the kitchen, you'll get a 17 by 17 ceramic tile. And uh, on the countertops, we have some granite options. And then the cabinets are usually the, the Timberlake uh, birch cabinets that you get, which is, you know, really nice cabinet, but nothing, you know, over upgraded. It's what you would see probably normally into a rental property, okay? Now, if you want to upgrade to something like this, this model home is quite, has quite some upgrades in here. However, you're probably expecting to put in at least 40 grand to make it look similar to this. Okay, so keep that in mind. Plus a lot premium, you know, add another 50 on top of the base price and you'll find a, ba a price of what's gonna cost you to, for this house, uh, you know, out the door. Now, it really depends also on where you want to spend your money. Structural options are going to be the most expensive part, such as this covered patio. If you want a covered patio here, it does not come with one, first of all. It does not come with the landscaping, so that's something you have to add as well. Okay, let's check out this backyard, and we'll talk about the covered patio as well. So, landscaping is not going to be done. If you do choose to get the covered patio like that one, you got to add at least 15 grand right there. 10 grand just for the section where you see the first two columns, okay? 
then you have to add the cover, uh, the backyard landscaping, and that's gonna cost you probably another 10 or so if you do it after, okay? For, you know, a backyard this size with this similar, you know, setup here. Nice sliding door. This is a uh, template wide door. And uh, this is gonna cost you around four to 5,000 to add. Otherwise, it comes with a six foot wide door. So just two panels of these and an extra window. Okay. Open floor plan. Here they, it will come with carpet throughout the living room and dining room. Uh, however, here the builder not only upgraded to a 12 by 24 tile, but they also upgraded, you know, throughout the, all the downstairs to have that tile. Here you'll have uh, two steps to go up to your powder room. Your garage entrance is gonna be right there, which is the sales office right now. You can't see it. That would be the regular height of the doors inside, by the way. But they upgraded these ones. Uh, GE appliances, refrigerator not included. This setup right here with uh, the built-in microwave, GE oven and then you have the cooktop with the canopy hood it's probably gonna run you around five grand to uh, to upgrade really nice 42 inch cabinets here cabinets are going to be probably somewhere around six to seven thousand dollars to upgrade in here and then the countertop it's another three to four for this kitchen for for this kind of quartz all right so you can kind of add it up add it up and this is for me going to the design center with my clients and uh figuring out what the cost is gonna be so that you guys at home are kind of educated on what this house is gonna cost you out the door. Half a bathroom here uh, for the downstairs. And then we'll go upstairs and see what it has. If you guys appreciate this kind of information, feel free to reach out to me and uh, hire me as your realtor. I would love to uh, be your, uh, you know, earn your business and be your realtor. So that I can give you the value that I give to my clients. As you walk up, we'll have extra cabinets, which are not included right here, but you can add them. And then one bedroom, two bedrooms on this side, bathroom, and then on the other side, you have your primary bedroom with the loft in between. And the bedroom also, you can make a nice, uh, the balcony, it comes with it actually, in this floor plan. Now, the point does have some, some quick move-ins, by the way. So if you want a quicker move-in, something that you can move in sooner rather than later. You can definitely do that as well. First bedroom, spacious, 10 by 12. Uh, the quicker move in right here, they have a boxwood at 441, but that's the price before discounts and before the negotiation. So pretty sure we can bring that price down. Um, they have a current discount right now on some of these houses. So it's not gonna cost you 441, it'll cost you less than that. This is a house out the door with all the, uh, what else, what's it called? Out the door price with all the upgrades in it okay, for the spec home. As I mentioned, low 400s for this model. 10 by 12 also this one, this is a little bit smaller actually, has a, this, uh, it's about 11 feet I would say wide. Comfortable size though for a nice, uh, you know, queen size bed. As we go in here, we have your dual under mount sinks, uh, upgraded pretty much everything in here. Also upgraded shower. And that's the cool thing about Richmond American Homes is that even though, you know, it does not start with many upgrades, you can upgrade pretty much anything in the house and make it look like a custom home. Uh, which is not the case for most of the builders and most of the competition out there. Your loft space right here, good size. All the bedrooms will not come with any lights or anything. That's gonna be additional that you can add on top. About 150 each light, plus a ceiling fan pre-wire, another 200 each. So keep that in consideration as far as the bedroom goes. In the main areas and all the hallways, it's going to have lights because that's by city code. Linen closet, your laundry room, does not come with washer and dryer. Yeah, you're gonna have to buy that later. And then upper cabinets as well can be added. Primary bedroom, pretty good size. What I like about this one is that the square footage in this home is pretty much distributed perfectly to get three bedrooms and a loft in this kind of square footage, which is great. And uh, you also get a full balcony outside. 
and that's included in the base price, okay? The balcony is going to be covered. You do get some nice views if you get some really nice lots in this neighborhood from the side of the house. As you can see, nice mountain views. Okay. Yeah, all the bedrooms have enough room. You have the loft that has enough room. This one has great size room. And then full walk-in shower, you can do the luxury shower like you see right now. Otherwise, a regular shower would be about that big or so, walk-in as well included. And then you have a linen closet next to it. But that's gonna cost you around 12 grand to upgrade, okay? And then, you know, dual underground sinks. As you can see, you can get to 500,000 with this house if you start putting in all these upgrades like the model homes. Um, and then right here, you have that. Right here, they did a custom closet, but that's not included. That will be something upgraded through the builder and their affiliated company that they work with. Okay, so three bedrooms and a loft in this model. Really nice setup. Let's go see the one next door. One next door offers up to four bedrooms and a little loft. But most people do get the three bedroom option over there. I'll show you why. But one thing I wanted to tell you guys about is you know, offering you my services. If you need a realtor that can represent you throughout the transaction, a lot of people say that you don't need a uh, realtor when you buy a new home. But the reality is you, you do need it. And there are a lot of things that you have to watch out for that a good realtor will prepare you for. But um, in addition to the negotiation side and all that stuff, especially for first time home buyers that have never purchased a home before, they're, they, they're gonna have some issues if they don't hire a realtor. Now on top of that, guess what? The builders pay for the commission, uh, for the realtor's commission. So you really don't have to come out of pocket with anything to buy a home with a realtor. Uh, anything extra actually you might save money because then the realtor especially someone experienced with new homes can actually help you Navigate you through the negotiation uh, part of it and get you the best deal possible So all my information is down below in the description guys I'd love to represent you and offer you my services as we uh, see him from in front of us here We have the hibiscus floor plan. This one is three bedrooms and a loft. It's still a two-car garage uh, two-story home nice elevation on this one and the starting price on the hibiscus is 395 at the moment so under four hundred thousand dollars all right this one will have a side entrance just like you see it going in i have a little bit of an entrance separating the, uh, the different rooms in the house so you have this entrance space garage just a coat closet i believe powder room this would be your living room and then you go upstairs to the second floor where you have your loft up there and then the three bedrooms we'll see it together but nice for your entrance here gives you a nice look uh, on the house now the cool thing about this one is we can actually see your garage and how big it is and this will be probably a 20 by 20 and a half or so, 21 maybe in depth. You also have some extra room here for your tankless water heater and your water softener right there. So it's a little bit out of the way and you can easily park your two cars in here. Can it fit a full size truck? No, it can't. Mid size truck? Yes, it will. A little tight, but it will. But that, that's what you have right now here. And the uh, cool part about this floor plan here, uh, the hibiscus, is offers uh, this storage area underneath the stairs in the garage. Now this is not going to be a air conditioned space, but you can definitely use it for storage, but just nothing that needs to be, you know, at a certain temperature. Pretty much the same thing that you would store in a garage which is nice because now you have all that extra space to put all your stuff and then you can focus on the two-car garage to just put in your cars in there. Although I know, I think the majority of people actually don't park their garages inside the, you know, they don't park their cars inside the garage. 
All right, let's go see this uh, open floor plan here, which is very nice, but first, check this out. Powder room to the right. Comes with a pedestal sink, not with this cabinet. That would be an option. I think it's like 2,000 bucks or $1,500 to add the cabinet. Cool closet. And then the open floor plan is really nice here. What's cool about this one, this one has even a pantry right here. But in an open space, we have the additional door, just like the one next door added. This will be the included door, just like you see it. That's cool that uh, Richmond does offer nine foot ceilings included in the base price. It's something that is definitely a must in my opinion. But look at the living room space. That's really nice. I like the flow of this house when you have this kind of layout with this, uh, with this uh, couch section over right here. Nice uh, fireplace added, and then your TV set up right on top, which is nice. Kitchen in the corner with your island, three seats, and right here you have your dining room. Sweet layout, yeah. Very similar to the boxwood though. It doesn't really get anything extra other than maybe that pantry, whereas the boxwood next door had some cabinets right here that you could use for a pantry. But essentially the same thing. Here's your cooktop GE. This would be the first step up as far as upgrade and built-in options underneath. But it comes with the black appliances, you know, the black GE appliances that you get, let's say in a rental or so. Backsplash also upgraded and all that stuff. GE refrigerator, this is gonna cost you around 1500 to do it with them. And then your pantry, which is pretty good. Pretty good size. All right, flooring. I love this uh, tile here that they have, which is a wood-like tile. And then uh, for your backyard, this one gets uh, still a good size backyard. Look at that. Beautiful setup here. Feels like this one is a little bit deeper than the house next door. But this has plenty of room for a pool or whatever you want to do with this house. You can add also the balcony on top. So let's talk about numbers here. It does not come with the balcony or anything. So you just have the wall right here straight up. Then you can add the covered patio underneath. And then on top of that, you can also add the cover pad, uh, the, the balcony on top without the rooftop. Then on top of that, you can add also the rooftop here, I believe. I've never had a client do that. But it starts getting uh, pretty expensive. You're probably looking for this whole setup around 20 grand or so because you're looking at 10 for this one, 15 for the whole thing, and then 20 for the, even the balcony on top. It can add up really fast. That's one of the things when you're looking at these homes, the starting price is pretty low at 395. Well, it's not really that low, but once you start adding everything up, it gets expensive really fast. Going upstairs, we have the included carpet right here, which is what people, most people do keep here. Then the stereos are all optional. So this setup right here is probably gonna cost you around three grand or so to have the white stereos. Then if you want, let's say something more modern, probably gonna be, you know, with the banisters, or horizontal banisters, the metal ones, those are gonna cost you, I would say another three grand or so. Sorry, another two grand, so around five grand total. Over here to the left, we have the primary, then bedroom, and then another bedroom over here. Now, this floor plan actually comes with four bedrooms, which would be this loft closed off into a bedroom. And then you still have this space right here for a loft, which is not the biggest one, but still there's plenty where, you know, let's say you keep the pony wall right here, you can put a couch right here and then have your TV right there, you know, because you would have a wall right here and then the door entrance right there. Okay, so you can easily use this as a loft with the TV, making this four bedrooms and a loft. A really nice setup for 1,900 square feet. As you walk up to the right, you have your laundry room. This one, they added the, the sink as well, which is nice that you have that option. Upper cabinets is also added. So this setup, probably another five grand or so to have the upper cabinets and the sink, or maybe four. 
and then washer and dryer you can buy with them but usually i do not suggest doing it with them because it gets pricey uh that's a full-size bed cabinets are pretty i mean the nightstands are pretty big but i think you could fit a queen it's probably gonna have a smaller uh what you want to call it nightstand size but you can still fit a queen here two windows this is the front of the house look at the nice views on in the back over there so if you get one of those homes at the perimeter of the community you might get some nice mountain views loft we talked about this one really good size or you can make it into or you can keep it into a bedroom it doesn't cost any extra to do it and make it into a loft uh dual undermount sinks it comes with one you can add the second one but again right here we're probably going to be somewhere around 450 out the door for this house maybe 440 it depend, depends on the deal that you get upgraded shower Oh, you even get the pre-wire here for a chandelier at the entrance. That's a nice setup. And then uh, linen closet to the right. Here's your second bedroom. This is probably a 10 by 10 by 11, yeah, still. As you can see, full-size bed, two nightstands on the side. Still fit a queen, a little tight maybe. And the closet right here, they doubled up on the racks, which is nice. Last but not least, you have your primary bedroom. So pretty spacious in here. You see the king size bed, but it's a perfect size. You don't need anything extra than this, at least personally, that's what I think. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Uh, your powder, sorry, your water closet and then uh, walk-in closet here is, has a lot of shelf space which is good. Appropriate for the square footage of the home. Two undermount sinks, your tub and the shower. Now, neither the shower that we saw next door or this one are included. That's something that you add at the, you know, with the builder. And this is a structure option you add on to, uh, up front. So this is gonna cost you somewhere around 10. The one next door, the, the, the luxury shower, also around 10. The problem is when you go to design center, you also have to upgrade the tile unless you want the included tile, which is what you get on the floor, a 17 by 17 tile. But then when you go to the design center, you're probably looking at another four to five grand to upgrade the tile. So this setup that you see in the model home is gonna run you around 15 grand extra on top. Here's your balcony set up here. This one is not covered like the one next door, but really nice nevertheless. Good size. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. All my information is uh, down there in the description. If you guys need a realtor to represent, you know, love to guide you throughout the whole process of finding the location that is right for you, inform you about, hey, give you the tools to inform you about, let's say crime rates, school districts and all that stuff. Try to narrow down the best neighborhood for you, depending on what you need for your personal preferences. That's what I specialize in getting people into into a new home, whether it's a new construction or resale, uh, you know, but you need that expert next to you, uh, regardless of what you heard or whatever, even if you don't hire me, that's fine. Go to someone else that knows what they're doing and, um, and get them to, to help you throughout this whole process, because it's very, very important. Uh, all my information is down below in the description. If you need to get on a call with me, uh, if you're not quite ready yet, but you're still looking around, looking at prices a little bit, just to get a feel of it, uh, maybe because you're not 100% sure, check out the two links I have down there in the description. I have one for new construction homes and one for resale homes. You can start your search right there just to get a good feeling of the, of the market and all that stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.